here we go. I've been here about four hours and uh, conditions are really against us. And we've been, I've been catching perch after perch, little perch, been a nuisance. And then big drop back. And this absolute stunner has turned up. One pound 14, not quite the two, but I ain't bothered about that at all. An absolute beauty. Like I said, we're fishing for the roach today and uh, we're just a couple of weeks after the river season has closed and there's nothing I like better than getting on a pit, especially the big carp pits that seem to hold very, very big roach. I guess they feed um, on the pellet that goes in and the high protein baits and the roach in these carp pits tend to grow very, very big. And um, in this place we're fishing today, they grow very, very big. So uh, come the match time, they're at their prime. They're gearing up for spawning in May time. And they're absolutely beautiful at this time of the year. Lovely red fins, uh, prime condition. And that's when I like to catch them. I'll run you through quickly the tackle I'm using. I'm using a light one and a quarter pound rod with a small uh, bait runner reel, six pound line. And my tackle is a plain two ounce feeder with a ready heli rig to five, five and a half pound hook link, size 14 with three maggots. And we're recasting every half hour and hopefully one of these big roach uh, will come to our rods and um, the hope is for one over two pound. We'll see. Well, it's bright sunshine, it's the middle of the day. And one of the maggot feeders has trundled off and look, oh, <laughs> an absolute stunning, lively roach. <laughs> look at that, absolutely beautiful, beautiful fish. That's what we're here for. We just need one there, but a pound bigger, stunning. I want to 
talk to you quickly about the weather conditions today. As you can see, there's a, there's a left to right easterly wind. It's bright sunshine, blue skies, and we've got temperatures 17 to 18 degrees, even though it's the end of March. And uh, what we plan to do is fish maggot feeders out into the middle of the lake and intercept the roach, which tend to move up and down the lake, feeding as they go. And um, I don't want to put too much feed in and fill them up. So just maggot feeders cast every half hour, 45 minutes. And hopefully when they turn up, we'll catch a few. Well, here we are. This morning, we had a few fish and uh, through the middle of the day, bright sunshine, quite warm for this time in March. And um, suddenly, 20 minute periods gone berserk at a 1.7, a 111, and then two fish at the same time, very special. And this is the first one, absolute stunning fish. There we go. How about that? Two pound three, beautiful roach. Don't you just love them? Oh, I can't get enough of catching these. Stunning, stunning. Well, we've had this one, two pound three, and within minutes, uh, it's gone off again, squealed off actually, and uh, it's this fish, absolutely stunning. Two pound, 12 ounce roach. When I came here this morning, I didn't think that I was gonna catch a brace of twos like this. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that, eh? Stunning, stunning, I made up. Absolutely brilliant. We'll see about getting them back. Well, there we go. You can never make it up, can you? All the weather was against us. And uh, here we are. This morning we had them few fish and then it was a bit of a lull. And then this afternoon in bright sunshine, it's quite warm, um, manic period with a 1.7, 1.11, and then finishing off with a brace of 2.3 and 2.12. You can't make it up. I'm over the moon with what I've caught today. Absolutely brilliant. See you next time.